If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are one of my return subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for your continued support. And today, I am so excited. So excited to share this video with you. This is going to be a decorate with me on this back here, my china closet. I shared with you on the last video that we had to move out for a couple weeks so they could do our floors and we had to pack up everything. So as I shared, as I returned, I was going to try to do some things differently. Maybe not everything, but wanted to do some things differently. And this is one of the things I've been wanting to do. I've been wanting to do my china closet in blue and white for a long time. Um, over the years, I've been picking up on different blue and white plates. I don't have a particular place setting, but um, I've been picking up different stores, TJ Maxx. I even got some Dollar Trees, really, really pretty Dollar Tree blue and white plates. And um, this is something I've been wanting to do. I used to have my mom's, actually, since I've been here, I had my mom's um, china in here where she had a service of 12. So um, ever since I painted the walls blue, I really wanted to... I, I just fell in love with the blue and white thanks to L from L's Place. I became a blue and white lover. So I wanted to do this in the china in blue and white. So this gave me a perfect opportunity to redo it because I have packed up all the other um, place settings and I didn't bring them back out. When I came back in, I left them, you know, I put them in the garage and everything. And when they moved us back in and I unpacked my blue and white pieces. And some of the blue and white pieces is just not going in here. It was, it's really funny because I was reading an article on um, china closets. And I'm starting to feel in love with my old china closet. I really love this. I would love to get it painted one day. I would love a champagne color. I don't want to trust myself in painting it. So if I find somebody to do it, I would be glad to paint it. But I'm fell in love with this. I would like to keep it. One time I wanted to get rid of it. Now I want to keep it, but I still would like to get rid of my table and chairs or change them around, make something different. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to decorate this. And I was reading the article, and the article was talking about how our china closet really is supposed to be a display and not so much for storage. Now, I'm so, so guilty of having this china closet is a lot of storage putting all kind of all kind of stuff in it you know i had my mom's plates and of course she had service of 12 and we have a spot for 12 but i added a lot of extra stuff in um coasters different things you know you buy stuff and you just okay you know and you call it i call myself having it safe in here you know so it won't get broke so i did was guilty of using that as storage too and she was saying this article was saying that your bottom supposed to be for storage and your top for, supposed to be for display so i said okay when i you know as i'm looking i said okay, that's what i want to do i want to um i want to do blue and white but i want to do a little display with the two now so we're gonna um get started i do have like, I am using this for storage now. I used to have placemats down here, but now I got um, in the drawers, I have my napkins, and then the last drawer, I only have three here. The last drawer, I have um, some Z Gallery glass placemats. And then on each side, I keep my charger now. So I did some things a little bit differently in my dining room, and I'm loving it, I'm loving it the way it's coming out. I still need more room. So on each side, I got all this room, and I'm like, no, don't buy no more cabinets. Don't buy no more cabinets. So we'll see about that. But we're going to get started. I'm going to start um, cleaning. I already, before I put the glasses back in, of course, you, I cleaned them all. But I'm going to spray them down. And wipe them down again anyway and so I'm gonna do that real quickly and um, then we're gonna get started yeah we, you know I had to do all of this over oh, don't want to. and I'm using mm, it's oil. okay okay and I'm using this um, spray way I seen this a lot of people use it on YouTube and I thought I'd try it out and I kind I do like it so um, like I said I did all of these glasses when I had to put all the glass back in the um, cabinet so I'm just gonna wipe them down 
And um So here I am going to start putting my plates in the china closet. I'm showing you these plates that I purchased from TJ Maxx and I have four of those and then I also has four of the Dollar Tree plates and I have six of the another type of blue um, Johnson Brothers um, with the small blue flowers that I am going to put in the center. Um, I have six of those. And I never was able to find two more of these ones that I'm putting in now. So I'm, I've, I got an idea of what I wanna do. So I wanna put the four of the TJ Maxx plates on each side, top and bottom. And then I'm gonna put in six plates of the TJ Maxx that I'm putting in there now. I have slots for 12 and um, I'll be using probably like 12 slots. <laughs> so I'm just gonna place these in here and then I'm gonna start putting some other items in there. So I'm gonna speed up the camera um, as I put those plates in. small bowls that went with the, the blue and white that I purchased from TJ Maxx and I'm putting them on one of those like um, stands and so I'm gonna put the bowls in front of the plates and I believe I am going to have at least um, I, have to, I know I have six bowls but I'm not gonna use all of the bowls and so I'm just placing them in front of the plates. Almost like a set, instead of sitting them down, I'm kind of standing them up for display.
I am also putting some glasses in and also um, right there in the center of you can see them right there in the center of the two plates and I'm also adding my um, sugar and my creamer in there too um, I'm gonna keep most of the stuff some of the some of the stuff that was in there like my sugar and my creamer and here I also have <coughs> a um, <clears throat> these bowls here these balls I really would like to fill these up with some blue and white pumpkins or some white pumpkins or the mixture but right now I don't have them so I'm just using the blue balls in this big glass bowl shaped um I would say decor piece I have used as a centerpiece in a tablescape before I purchased that from a thrift store it's all glass and it's shaped like a like a boat and it's really really is nice and if I find some pumpkins it would be nice to put some pumpkins in there but right now I'm just using what I have and I'm also putting this soup terrine on the third shelf in between the um in front of the plates I'm gonna put that on that third shelf there and I am continue to pick out the glasses I'm not putting of course I'm not putting all the glasses I have but <clears throat> I'm going to try to put the glasses here. I'm putting blue glasses along the side and then the gold ones in the center. So I'm trying to keep keep up with that gold and blue look. And I just stepped away for a minute and to get some more glasses. Ma'am, I um, wanted to use these four sections with my Dollar Tree. These are my Dollar Tree. And I seen Michelle, I forgot, I probably ain't gonna pronounce the name of the channel um, correctly, but I seen Michelle does, did this for Christmas and I thought this was really pretty and um, I love the idea. So I'm gonna see if I can work that out. Um, I have these, I have four napkins that my friend, blue and white friend, L from L's place, she gifted me with these. So I have four of these, I'm gonna use these too. So what I would like to do that I seen her do was she used the charger. I have three, four of these. And I purchased these from play holders or charger holder play holders from or easels from Hobby Lobby. They were black, I believe, and I spray painted them gold. I'll probably change that in the future because um, this one is a different easel because I already had that one. I went and bought three, so I'm gonna um, change that later. I am putting my beautiful blue and white pumpkins that I purchased two years ago from Home Goods. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. They're going to always be in my collection as long as I keep them safe. And I also have a large one that you'll be seeing in another video. But these are so beautiful. 
we have a gourd here and we also have a round pumpkin and I think they looks beautiful on that shelf that is the punk it is so so pretty I just love these pumpkins when I seen them I did not hesitate because I didn't think that they would be there when I came back and this pumpkin was only $9.99 you really couldn't beat that especially if you're a blue and white lover so I'm gonna I'm placing those on the third shelf there and I'm just trying to get them where you can actually see them through the glass with the glass closed so I'm trying to get them straight where I can actually see them
these plates over here I got from T um, TJ Maxx and I believe these I got from Goodwill and these pumpkins I don't know where they came from but you know the, the navy blue glasses are from Dollar Tree and over here I got these from I believe Home Goods um, the glasses from Home Goods and I think some of them I got from um, yeah these ones with the without the ring I got uh, without the gold ring I got from home goods and then the plates these plates are Dollar Tree plates and these are a gifted from L from L's place the napkins and the napkin rings I got from um, a thrift store and so this is the same here and these I purchased from Ross these little things here I got personal from Ross and the plates down there are the TJ Maxx and the Dollar Tree um, glasses and then so over here I like I um, got the silver the silver rim and the silver navy blue glasses I got from home goods um, I think about two years ago I got four and then this year I was able to get two more to make a set of six and then the gold ones these the gold one that one has a, a gold rim around it so I see I um, might have to do some changing but this one has a gold rim around it and that I got from Christmas tree shops the ones with the gold rim and these place here I purchased from TJ Maxx all along here and these all the creamer the teapot this whole shelf um, all came from Goodwill and then over here back here like i said the navy blue they all they have the silver ring around it and the silver um bling that all came they all came from um home goods and this terrine i uh, um this i got from my builder's wife and um i barely use it but um i thought i'd display this and then these beautiful <laughs> blue and white pumpkins came from home goods a couple of years ago and I have one more that's huge and um so I decided to display these um in in here and then down here I have um that came from I had that a long long time I don't know if that came from either um a state sale or I don't know I had that many years though that platter that platter I've been having a long time so I might have got it from um, it might have came out of my mom's shine closet. I don't know. I can't remember that where that one actually came from. But I know I had that many years, over 20 years. And um, because, I don't know, I love blue. I had blue before I decided to keep it when I moved. And here, these balls came from various places, um, mostly Tuesday morning. And I think, yeah. I don't know what else they came from. And this bowl, I purchased this bowl from a thrift store. This is the middle shelf. Okay, so over here is the same as over there. I really had a hard time with these charges. Um, I believe it's, some of them look better than others. Like this one is okay, this one's okay. So I really have to work with that later. But this looks the same. It's the same as the other one. And I just really love the way it come out. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And it just so happened I was able to find blue and white pumpkins. You know when we see blue and white pumpkins, I had to grab those. And um, I used them last year, last year. So I had these for at least two years now. And a large one um, I did display last year, but I didn't do any videos. But this is my display cabinet <laughs> and i just love the way it turned out but i love 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 how it came out beautiful this is something i've been wanting to do for a while and i still have more glasses but i was trying not to overcrowd it so leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of it? Do you think um, I need to trim it down or you think I have enough and I, or shall I take some away? But I appreciate your um, comments and your um, advice. 
So leave me a comment below. I do would like to get some white pumpkins that go sitting right here. And um, right now I don't have. So I added these two plates and I'm gonna get me two little pumpkins to put on that. It just seems like it just adding a little bit more um, color and just not leaving these two spots like plain. So it'd be nice to get a nice um, navy blue pumpkin to put in each plate. So I just added that, just wanna share that with you. And just to let you know, I had already um, put these up. I had these up on my china closet before I moved out and I just went and put those back the way they were. This is the end of this video. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more of this type of video, please don't hesitate and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join Ladies P Inspired Home. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified of all the videos as they come out. I thank you so much for watching. I thank you for all your support. I love you all. And I will see you all on the next video. Be blessed, everyone, to be a blessing. Bye-bye. And don't forget, be inspired.